we don't have anywhere near enough farmers. So at this point, I think it's pretty, pretty important to think about farmers first. What's going to work for farmers? And not just farmers, but small farmers. Sure. <laughs> So I'm here with Mary Berry. So one thing I was super inspired about, which I knew nothing about, was the whole, and you're gonna have to remind me what it's called, but the, the cooperative thing that the farmers had established through a lot of work that went away 10 years ago or something. Right, right. So can it you tell called, us about that? It was called the Burley Tobacco Program. And my grandfather, John Berry Sr., my father's father, was the principal author of it. And it came about because he saw his own father and other people from our community coming home after a year's worth of work with nothing after they were paid warehouse fees. You were saying they worked super hard, they were only going to make a little bit of money, they would go in, sell well, their they, stuff they, at auction. I don't know that they expected to make a little bit of money, they expected to make some a money. Living. What always happens, what has happened historically to farmers is that everything comes, hits the market at the same time and the price falls. So the tobacco program protected farmers from overproduction because farmers agreed to a quota system so they could grow so much. And then the price was more than fair. It was a very good price. And they could, they could cooperate against the forces right. of big tobacco it or meant, whatever. It meant a big corporation couldn't take a farmer's raw material, which has right. been our practice. Right. So why did that go away, or how do we get it? Are you working to bring something like that back? I'm working to bring it back this time not around, um, not around tobacco, around food, forestry, anything farmers can produce. And I'm, our work is starting here with the city of Louisville. I quoted Brand Smith, who said, the dirty little secret of the food, food movement is that the much celebrated small farmers not making a living. Yeah. This is so true. So we're spending lots of money on good food at farmer's market, and it's uh, this it's, exciting it's, economy. It's entrepreneurial, or it's big and industrial. There's nothing but in the middle. With a small farmer, yeah. So we've got to treat, we've got to appreciate the people among us who understand land use enough to put an economy in place that supports them. And ultimately that will support us all. Right. Um, yeah, I've, this is not about farmers, right? This is about kind of saving the planet, good food, children's health, well, obviously farmers as well. I feel but like it's, a it's, big story. it's at this point in our history, the history of this country, we've got to start with farmers because right. there's so few of them. So at the same at the time at a time when people who are who care about these things really want sustainably raised good food, yeah. um, this requires people on the land, eyes to acres, enough people to to be able to farm f and farm well. We don't have anywhere near enough farmers. So at this point, I think it's pretty pretty important to think about farmers first. What's going to work for farmers? And not just farmers, but small farmers. Sure. Yeah, small really... farmers, far and farmers and farmers in the middle, which is where in Kentucky most of our farmers are. Right. And that simply means, that, I mean, that's a dollar figure. That's something like 50000 a year to 500000 a year. I mean, this is, this is a huge range. But... Um, it's not big farming, huge farming. Factory farming, yeah. Factory farming. It's, but it is, and I believe that farmers who are um, running CAFOs and not making any money, uh, big industrial farmers who are dependent, highly dependent on a boom and bust economy, I think if we give them a way to work toward a better yeah. uh, way to farm, if we make it economically viable, sure. they'll look toward it. Great point. But, so that's, yeah. that's where my work is right now. Well, thank you. Thanks for your work and your humor and your father and your grandfather. Look, I, I take all the credit yeah. for my father and grandfather. Yes. Well, as you should, <laughs> since they're not here. You know, <laughs> that's right. Well. That's right. All right, Mary Berry. Thanks. Thanks so much. Oh, Eliza, Eliza Jane. No.
number you got my name Eliza Jane So why don't you call me Eliza Jane People don't often uh, realize how much I suffer to bring you these videos Behind the scenes it takes a lot to keep me in shape I'm in the Muhammad Ali Center right now <laughs> Training for videos is constant and as Muhammad Ali said, you only count the push-ups once they start hurting. <laughs>